What's up guys? Welcome to Smoke Detector Cooking. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this awesome chickpea wrap. And if you guys are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It's down over here in this corner. And go ahead and leave me a comment, thumbs up if you like the video. Let's get to it. So to make this wrap, we're gonna need a few ingredients. We're gonna need some chickpeas, some fresh veggies. I have celery, some bell peppers. I also have cucumbers, an onion, a wrap, some seasoned pretzels. For this one, I'm gonna go ahead and use a hot buffalo wing and some just mayo. We're also, and for these, if you guys like uh, pretzels in your sandwiches and in your wraps, which if you're new to it, it's gonna be a little weird, but trust me on this, they're amazing. I have another video of a tofu sandwich wrap that you guys can check out. I'll leave a link down in the description and I'll also put a tag so it pops up in the corner right up here. But let's get to it. So the first thing we have to do is take our chickpeas and we have to crush these up. If you guys have a food processor, go ahead and use that. Or if you don't want to do any dishes afterwards or not as many dishes, you can use a fork. That works just as well. You can also use a potato masher, whatever your personal preference is. I'm going to crush these up with this fork. There we go, that's good enough. Once you get your chickpeas crushed up, you're gonna go ahead and add your mayo to them. Then you're gonna wanna stir this up. And set this aside. And now we're gonna go ahead and dice up our veggies. There, that's good enough. Toss these into our bowl, go ahead and add these in. Another good thing is that it, it adds a lot of color, nice bright colors. You can go ahead and stir those in as well. They're gonna get mixed in here really well in a minute anyways. And we'll go ahead and set this off to the side. It almost looks like fruit salad, doesn't it? Trust me though, this is gonna be way better than fruit salad. We're gonna take our onion and we're gonna cut that up as well. I don't think we need this much onion. We'll take, uh, we'll take just half of this. And we'll go ahead and dice. Then we'll go ahead and add our red onion in. Go ahead and stir your red onion in. If that doesn't look bright, fun, festive, and beautiful, I don't know what else will. <laughs> we'll set that off to the side. And now we're gonna take our pretzels. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see this a little better, yeah. I got hot buffalo wing pretzels. This is what I'm gonna use instead of adding salt, pepper, and whatever other seasonings, because I really like the flavor of these. So we're gonna take our pretzels and we don't wanna leave them, we don't wanna toss them in just like this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take these and we're gonna crush them up. And if you've watched any of my other videos, I do a tofu sandwich where I crush up uh, jalapeno peppers. And they help bring a lot of bite to the sandwich. But for this one, I thought hot buffalo one would be a good change, so. Another positive note while we're cutting these up, uh, you can go ahead and make this a gluten-free wrap as well because they do make seasoned pretzels that are uh, gluten-free. That looks good enough. Now we're going to go ahead and take these and add them to our stuff as well. Trust me, this is going to be way better than any combination of seasoning you guys have ever put in there before. So we're going to go ahead and stir our pretzels in as well. This wrap filling just has a lot of nice colors in it that are really just helping everything to pop. You should go ahead and take this and throw it in the fridge for at least 20 minutes to let all those flavors uh, mix together and really just sit there. There's a word for that, I don't remember what it is. So we've just taken our stuff out of the fridge and we've let all those flavors marinate together. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a quick little taste before I uh, add it to my wrap. That's delicious. Those pretzels, man, they're, they just add the right amount of everything. They're great. So we're gonna go ahead and set this aside. So now to assemble our wrap, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take our tortilla. And like I said, if you guys wanna make this gluten-free or use some other kind, you can use spinach wrap, a tomato wrap. Uh, go ahead and throw that down. And I'm gonna take some uh, baby cow and spinach and I'm gonna throw this down. Yep. And I'm gonna take those cucumbers that we sliced up and I'm gonna throw those in there as well. I could have threw them right in the filling, but I forgot. So we'll throw them in here now. And then we'll go ahead and add our filling to it. And we'll go ahead and roll this up. Boom, just like that. You can make a bunch of these to take with you to work. And it's really simple. This stuff will last all week. 
It's really great. Let's cut into one of these and see how it looks. Look at that. Look at that. Can you guys see that? Yeah, right there. That's beautiful. This is a really healthy alternative to pretty much any other wrap, and it's really cheap. So if you guys liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already. Uh, and I'm going to bring you guys a new recipe every single week. Thanks for watching.